Emily Austin, and I'm a junior from Gretna High School. When I say regret, you say Tana. Regret. Tana. Regret. Tana. And this is my poem. This body is not my own. There was a time when she and I were connected, intertwined in person and mind until the moment in time when I first heard a knock at the spot between my eyes. Before me stood a pale white rose, and I brought her inside and sat her down in the center of my brain. A control board of long levers and glimmering buttons caught her eye, and I guided her along, allowing her leaves to brush along the controls, saying this lifts a hand, that gives a smile, and I let her go after a while. But every white rose is a black shadow, and at the flip of a switch, she flung me in a cage, her heart wilting from soft petals to twisted briars as she separated my soul from its body. First, she taped a new name to this chest, a pen dipped in black sap, scrawling me in new identity. Second, old friends couldn't see through her roots entangled in mine, and they abandoned me for a sickly sweet grin. And I screamed in my cage, cornered and afraid, living as the only soul able to see through her mirage. Third, she waltzed around my life, poisoning my home with bitter lies and a rotten smile, while those on the outside could only see her illusion, and it's as though my reality doesn't exist. My virus is my ruler, cruel on her maleficent throne. Along for the ride in this stressful vessel, I reside behind blank eyes. I cannot say what I want, for she's dipped my mouth shut and tranquilized my pen until I couldn't write again. I bow before no one, yet my back arches forward. I kneel before no one, yet these knees betray me. I beg for love from someone, yet the puppeteer in my heart has broken heartstrings and torn them into a faux smile. And as hard as I try, this body is not mine. This body is not me. I'm right here, but no one can see. Can't they look past the weeds to see the scared kid underneath? Or can they so only see the actions of this outer persona, the one that's been shoving my life in a corner, sick and twisted and commanding every move that's removed me from the picture? She sneers, don't push, don't cry, don't panic, don't try, don't ask to go outside and stretch your soul because you only deserve the cold. I know that this body is not my own. I know that there was a time when she and I were connected, intertwined in person and mind until the moment in time when I met the rose that would lead to my demise. I know that now I'm here clinging to the hope that I can be free while she trots around saying we are the same. I know that I'm losing my family. I know that I'm losing my home. I know that I'm alone, but I don't want to be alone anymore. I am here. This is me, but this is not what I want to be. But I'm afraid. I don't think I can love this body, for how can I love a body I fear? Somehow, some way, there will be a day when this white rose in my head will meet its end, because in silence, I let this flower bloom, and in silence, I will let it die. She's been in my head for far too long, and it's about time I said goodbye. <laughs>